Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of What Has Changed Your Life. You are going to love my guest today. I met Antonetta a few years ago. She came to my studio, and oh my goodness, <laughs> she was a ball of fire. I loved her energy. I loved her personality. And I thought to myself, that woman is going to change the world. And boy, has she ever. But her story didn't start there. Antonetta's story did not start there. So today we're going to talk about her journey going from the place she started, feeling insecure, afraid to be seen, to being what we like to call the female version of Richard Simmons <laughs> and taking the world by storm with her trademark program, A Body. Welcome, Antonetta, to this episode of What Has Changed Your Life. Oh my God, thank you so much. I'm excited. I'm so honored to be on your beautiful platform. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Now it's 12. I know. <laughs> yeah, this is a good morning a few minutes ago, but thank you so much for That's that warm welcome. Well, thank you for coming. Now, let's start. Before we, Barbie is here and she is saying hi, hi and so is Suzette. Oh, Hello. hi, Suzette. Amazing. That's so sweet. Thank you for watching. And here is Barbie saying, yes, she still is a ball. That is so great. Her. That's why we love her. So your journey didn't start where you are today. No. You were a very introverted person many mm -hmm. years ago. Tell me about that person. That is so great that you said introverted. So I, I still am. So isn't that funny? Like I, I, you know, I, I'm more... I'm an extrovert, obviously, as you know, I can be that, but I like to, um, I, a lot of people don't know that about me too. Like I'm, a, I'm an extrovert, absolutely when I have to be, but I'm, a, I'm truly an introvert too. Like I like being quiet. I don't like, you know, I like to be by myself. Um, you know, when I have to like be up front and center, I can switch that and, and be an extrovert. Uh, but yeah, at the beginning of my journey, um, you know, it was, it's, it was, it's challenging for I would say for 16 years. So as of 2016, I started my wellness journey, but for 16 years before that, a good 10 years before that, I was able mm -hmm. to um, successfully gain 160 pounds. Um, so uh, that really changed the dynamics of, you know, my mental health, my, um, you know, how I, I, how I lived my life. Um, it was, um, I, you know, I stayed away from cameras I stayed, stayed away from mirrors. Um, you know, I didn't want to, I was still like the bubbly, had the bu bubbly personality. Um, but you know, I, it, it was challenging. Like I didn't really like going on holidays. Um, you know, um, I was in a very tough uh, relationship that, you know, um, make sure that I knew every day that I wasn't worth it. <laughs> so that didn't help either. Um, mm -hmm. And so having a very unhealthy relationship and, having an unhealthy lifestyle cause a lot of like, you know, issues with your yeah. mental health and your, your self-esteem. Um, and it was really, really challenging. And one of the, you know, awful things that came out of it, but then turned into a good thing. Um, mm -hmm. it was, um, I, w I became a, a full blown diabetic and I, um, you know, you're, you're in the health field and I walked into a, the emergency room and my sugar levels was 33. So for context for people, mm -hmm. a normal blood sugar for people that are not diabetic generally is between four and eight. Mm -hmm. So think about that. Mm -hmm. 32. Yeah. 33, 33, 33, sorry. 33. And my potassium yes. level was really high and that was a scary part. So I had to like bring that yeah. down. And so, um, yeah. So and sorry, I'll go back to more context. Yeah. When your potassium levels are really high or out of range, that can actually affect your cardiac function, your heart. Mm -hmm. It can change the rhythm of your heart. Yeah. So yes. And I so already you, have a heart murmur, so that was yeah. not good. <laughs> yeah. So you were using food as a way of coping. Yeah. So the way that I, I mean, I would not um, eat all day. And, you know, my dark hours were between 6 and 11. And so when you say dark hours, that's like everything in your pantry, you know what you have. And from 6 to 11, you are just eating because 
I, that's how I kept coped with the everyday stress or have, living in a situation where it was unhealthy. Um, but yeah, those are my dark hours. So not eating all day and then eating everything in the pantry from six to 11 was you know, what caused me to, you know, to gain 160 pounds um, and become a full blown diabetic. Yeah, it was crazy. It was nuts. It was awful. So and I had long curly blonde hair then just wanted you to know trees. Really? Yeah. Did you? I did. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I got to see a picture of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to you with your short right, hair yeah. and the red, and which is just like so yeah. you, right? Funny enough, when I made when I became healthier and I changed my lifestyle, you know, obviously you you gain your self esteem and your self confidence, and I'm like, you know what? I'm like totally gonna change it. And so I remember when I cut my hair off, and it wasn't red. I went, you know, I went quiet a little bit softer like I kept my same hair color but not as short as I have now and when I did cut that um people didn't even recognize it was me um and that was that was um empowering when you cut your hair it's very empowering when you you're still have long curly blonde hair and then you cut your hair really short it's mm -hmm. it's it's something to be said about that so when I made the change I changed a lot of different things like my hair or I bought a new car I could totally different everything yeah, yeah. and not? you got out of that relationship i did yeah mm -hmm. and that would have been really hard to do getting out of a relationship yeah it was very challenging um man i cried for like six to eight months um mm -hmm. it sucked it it was hard to to say yes to that and um you know we, it was it's the fear of the unknown on what to do um and how to move forward and how to like live by yourself and how to figure that all out and i was just like i don't know what to do and this is i couldn't handle it and so my sister one day i still remember what we were wearing and where we were and all that it was just life-changing when she mm -hmm. said to me she's like you are a powerhouse chick. <laughs> She's like, put those tears away, roll yeah. up your sleeves and get it done. So what are we going to do first? And she yeah. was like that. And she's like, that's how you would speak to me. So I'm going to talk to you. Like, let's get it done. So what are we going to do first? <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, okay. And that's what happened. And I just took one thing at a time and I got it done. Because the thing you mentioned at the beginning was this person that's supposed to love you was telling you all these things oh, and yeah. putting these beliefs in your head yeah. that had nothing to do with you, yeah. but it was them putting this on you yeah. and changing that mindset of I am not enough to yeah. I am more than enough. Yeah. How I did you go through that transition of taking those beliefs and letting them go and then becoming... I am enough. Yeah, I still have those beliefs now, um, but not as strong. And I work on them every day. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm not 100% cured. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't think any of us are. Um, but it was very dark. Um, I left in 2013. And um, it took, I think, at least five to six years. So once I made a transition on how I the outer shell looked like in order for me to get baby steps to make me feel um, good about myself or, mm -hmm. you know, feel like I can do something or I get healthier. Cause you know, when you're, when you're feeding your body with um, more nutritious food, your brain is more sharp. You feel much better. You make better yeah, decisions. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you're feeding yourself with like a lot of processed food, like I feel that myself, like that's my own experience. I feel sluggish. I don't want to do anything. I'm irritated. You know, like I'm not thinking straight. So when I changed that lifestyle and that mindset, um, I was able to slowly come out of it. And mm. so when I, you know, when I did start losing the weight and starting changing the way that I thought about things. And, and, and one of the greatest things was surrounding myself with people that were, um, cheerleaders for me, um, yes. and people that were like, you know, uh, weren't competing with me. were just being, that's amazing. Keep going way to go. Um, because the people that compete with you, um, you can't have them in your circle because there's a lot of negative no. energy. And so, um, I surrounded myself with people that I inspired with, you know what I mean? So like, for example, like you're not going to hang around people that, um, 
if you want to be rich, you're not going to hang out with people that are not. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Yes. They're going to inspire you to like, oh, let's just do it. So yes. that's the difference. Yeah. So, so Lynn saying hi. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. And so Jen sweet. saying greatness. Oh. Aw. So sweet. And Darcy saying hi, Darcy. she's amazing. Yes, she is amazing. She's so sweet, Darcy. And Suzette saying you are amazing, oh, Antonetta. So Absolutely. Absolutely. So you had a cheerleader friend bring you to your very, very first Weight Watchers meeting, and you didn't even want to go. Yeah. You so, were like, yeah, I'm just going to support you kind of thing. Well, she's like, Antonetta, do you think you can join? Because this is a very... It was a great way where she said it because she's like, Hey, do you mind joining WW so I can get a free month? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I love so, it. I, yeah. So funny enough, I didn't make the change because of my diabetes. And at that time in my life, um, my numbers were slowly coming up. Right. Um, I was, I, I owe my life to a beautiful woman named Lori. And for mm -hmm. three days, for three years, every day, Tracy, like no word of a lie, even when yeah. she went on holidays, every morning she would message me and she would say, good morning. And that would mean that I would have to submit my sugar level to her. Ah, yeah, I so love it. Actually, Accountability. Yeah. And I would like give her my numbers. And sometimes she's like, you know, I don't believe me. Give me a screenshot of it. <laughs> You know what I mean? So my numbers were slowly going up. At that time, I was at hitting an 11 or 12. And right. the best thing that she said to me, she's like, anything over seven, you're you're silently killing your organs. Send. Let's go for it. Walk in a chat. And I'm like, oh, my God. So, um, yeah. So I joined WW because to help a friend out to get a free month. And that was the hardest day and the best day of my life. When I walked mm -hmm. in there, I'm like, yeah. get me out of here. Like, everyone is looking at me. I know everyone's like, you should be here. Like, these are the the the, yeah. the 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 stories that are staying into your head. You know what I mean? Exactly. Right. The the as I call it, the critter brain. Yeah. That sits there and tells you things, and you're like, what? Like, where did that even come from? And your yeah. but your critter brain's like, you yeah. shouldn't be here. You're not enough. This is yeah. not going to work for you. Blah blah blah. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. I totally yeah. get what you're saying. Yeah. And so then I just. I, I don't know what I possessed me to switch. <laughs> I got my mind. I, I think what happened was the first week I said, you know what, let me just try the first week. I lost 6.8 pounds, but I didn't share it because in my head, I'm like, of course you didn't lose 6.8 pounds. Like, look where you started. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't even give credit to myself that I lost 6.8 pounds my first week. Like I kept mm -hmm. it to myself. And then I just, um, I just slowly started to really ask myself personal questions. So this was like the change. So I said, okay. you know, what do I need? Like, what do I need to get this done? Right. I really had to ask myself those questions. What do I need? I'm yeah. like, well, I need someone to see my weight every week because mm. I needed someone to see that. Yeah. Um, I need someone to record that. And I also needed um, to, I also needed to to change my habit between six and eleven. Mm. I said, "What am I supposed?" Because that I knew that was my darkest time. And right. I'm like, in order for me to get this to do this, like I need to figure out a way, like right. how to deal with my bad habits and my bad habits were that time. Yeah. And I'm like, either I got to find a part time job. So I'm not home and just eating everything in the pantry. And that's when mm. I, did. I found a part-time job that was actually at from home. And yep. I was busy between the hours of six and 10 and there was no time to do this. And yes. so after three or four months, I got into a new habit and I was mm. able to turn that habit around. And that actually helped me to, um, you know, hit my weight goals every week. And that's mm -hmm. what I did. And then you became an ambassador to help other people on their journey. You um, became that mentor for them. Did you not? I became a WW coach. coach Is that what you yes. mean? Yeah. I, became a yes, WW coach. I keep calling it ambassador, That's but I guess okay. it's coach. It's okay. Yeah. I became a WW coach um, about a year and a half after um, mm -hmm. I was on my journey. Yeah. I, I did that for 
two reasons. One, you know, to help as many people as possible because it's my only way to pay it forward because many people helped me. Yeah. And secondly, for a selfish reason, because I'm like, well, if I'm a coach, I've got to be on track all the time. And yeah. so, you know what I mean? Like, I, you know, like it's, it's a great accountability because I knew from the second or third weekend, I'm like, how do I maintain my weight loss when I hit my goal? I don't want to like lose all my weight. And then how do I do it? Like I asked myself really hard questions and I'm like, well, I'm just going to be a coach. And I decided then at the the early onset that I would be a coach. I'm like, because that's how I'm going to stay. That's how I'm going to maintain it. And that's right. Yeah. That's an, that's amazing because most people would just go, okay, I'm lifetime. I'm just going to go off and do my thing. But then you decided I'm going to help people do this. Yeah. And then you you decided to start being a fitness instructor. That happened as a fluke. I had no intentions of doing it. That happened because I went on a cruise with my dear friend Paula and we met yeah. this beautiful woman on the cruise ship that was doing a walking style um, um, uh, aerobic class. And right. she invited us on stage and I looked out in front of everybody. I'm like, Oh my God, like this is the best thing ever. Ever. To do it. Like, oh my God, like this is so great. I want to do this when I get back to Canada. We should do it. And so I'm like, look at that. I'm like, anyone can do it. Like, it doesn't matter if you were like six years old or a hundred years old. It doesn't matter if you're like 10 pounds or, you know, 300 pounds. Anyone can do it. Like, this is so yeah. inclusive. And so I, I got that hit right away. And I'm like, Oh my God, like this is what we need. And so when I came back from that cruise, a couple months later, I became certified. And um, I was like, I don't know, like, I think I'm just going to do this for six weeks. You know, it'd be a great way to work out with everybody. We'll do this for six weeks and um, once a night. And that's where my plan was just for six weeks, once a night. And, you know, we'll just see what happens and, you know, just whatever. And then it just blew up. (laughs) <laughs> it so, did. It did blow up. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you, Carol is here as well. And she's saying you were one of my bi- biggest inspirations, Antonetta, for your health journey, but mostly for your kind and generous heart. That's so sweet, Carol. Aww. Oh, my gosh. She's the sweetest lady. <laughs> and so Barbie great. says such a daily inspiration. Look how many people you inspire every single day from so all sweet. over the world. Yeah. Like, you know, the funny thing is, um, is that. I see it and hear it, but it, it quickly leaves my head and disappears. It's hard to um, listen and believe those things from people because it's easier to believe the negative parts, you know what I mean? And so I'm trying to say thank you and, um, you know, and, um, and, and and take on that compliment, but it's, it's, it's really hard sometimes. It is because of your past experiences. Sure. Oh yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. That's where, that's where that comes For from. Sure. Right. Mm-hmm. And so you're absolutely embracing it, mm-hmm. hearing it, taking it in and owning it. Yeah. It's hard that's to do, you gotta do. You know what I mean? or hard to believe it. Yeah. I know. So. I know it's, it's a struggle, especially from the past that you've come from. Mm-hmm. And so you were teaching your fitness class the walking, ex- but then you decided, huh? I'm going to create a yeah. new way of doing this Yeah, and create a body. And it's funny because I, I remember I knew you when you were creating this program yeah. and I was like, that's genius. Like, that's awesome. Right. Yeah. So what made you decide to completely re- redo this program to fit yeah. you? What mm-hmm. was the change there? So the, the, I was a walk 15 instructor at one point. I was only eight. I was very limited to what I was able to do. And I had big, and I had visions. I'm like, but I want to do this and this and this, and this is what I want to do. And, and so I had visions of how I want, where I wanted to take it, but I was very right. limited to what I was able to do under that um, name. Um, so I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to in 2019 in November, um, I decided to, start my own company name. Yeah. Um, and I knew the name had to be, I, I, it's in the process of, it's, it's very close to getting trademarked actually. It takes a long time to get a trademark. And I wanted yes. a name um, that um, suited me, like in terms of like, I have an Italian background and I'm a full, like I'm a proud Canadian. So I'm like, I, and I needed a, a cool name um, that resembled that. And, and so 
a body showed up. I'm like, I have 20 letters in my name. The name yep. should, it, it's going to come there. <laughs> so, and that's what yep. happened. And that's how it got developed. And from there, I was able to venture out and, um, you know, do an evolution of what my visions was were, and so that's that's why I did it. I, I became I, a, a business owner. I incorporated the business, and then um, I decided to leave my corporate job, and I quit my corporate job. Um, you know, making a dollar, <laughs> and now you're, you're like not even close making a dollar. But I love what I do every day. So that was a big um, leap of faith. Um, huge leap of faith. Huge leap of faith. Quitting your job. Your yes. job. You know, you get a paycheck. Yeah two weeks and um quitting your corporate job and starting your own business it's a huge leap of faith but you know what there was this one sweet lady that said to me she's like um okay so now you're gonna take this leap what's the worst that can happen what's the worst right? that can happen what so right what's the worst that can happen uh, it doesn't work out okay so then what can you do are you gonna yeah. be are, are, if you're if you can't pay your mortgage and you can't live in a house is there somewhere that you can stay for a year i'm like yeah she's like okay so that's no problem um she's like okay so if you decide to shut down your business do you think you can find a job you know just to care i'm like yeah she's like okay so go for it yeah and she's like but you're the prime person to do it i'm like you don't have any children and you're no longer married so what's the problem <laughs> i'm like the only ones that you're responsible for is two dogs they'll be fine so and i'm like okay let's do it so the fear went away and that's what i think is a really important point is a lot of people are afraid to take the leap mm -hmm. to go from their safe job yeah. to to their passion yeah. because they're worried about that fear of failure yeah it is failure all the time. Absolutely. Right. So that's yeah. why how wonderful that woman pointed out. There's no fear. No fear. There's no fear. And the other thing, too, I want people to recognize is when we try different things, there are times where it doesn't work out. Yeah. And don't look at it as failure. Look at it as a lesson. Yeah. It's a it's a life experience. Do you yes. know what I mean? Like, um, yes. you know, if 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 it if you fail, it's not, it's not looking at it a negative thing. It's just a life experience. Do you exactly. know what I mean? It's just a life experience and that's it. And move on to something else. And Barbie says, don't look back. Oh, Absolutely. Okay. And then Suzette says, no failure here. Oh, that's so Absolutely. Sweet. I say to people, fail often. That's the only way that you can grow as a human being. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And when we stay in our comfort zone, Nothing changes if nothing changes. Yeah, it's true. Right? It's true. So you you got rid of, dispelled that fear. You decided to go out on your own, create this program that fits you, mm -hmm. change the name, becomes a body, mm -hmm. and boom, off you go. Yeah. Off I go. <laughs> Amazing. And yeah. she's never looked back. Never yeah. looked back. Yeah. I mean, I am... Um... My number one thing is I come from a place of, I remember how I felt when I walked into a fitness class mm. and um, I always, every time I stand in front of the camera, cause I do all, all my stuff right now is online. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I always remember where I came from. I always do. And the only reason why I say that, cause I confidently say that is because I always reiterate to people, you do you. Yeah. I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. We're all equal. Yep. There's no judgment here. We're just no trying judgment. to live. Yeah. And when a lot of people use that term, no judgment, very loosely, but I'm yes. I'm sincere with that. There, I'm, I, I am like, no, when I say no judgment, there's like absolutely like no judgment. And, yes. um, you know, like no one's here better than the other. And we're just trying to live our most healthiest and happiest life. And I yes. say that because... I lived in those shoes, walking into a fitness program, a group, a, a, you know, a class, and I'm like, I can't, I'm, I, I can't be here. I'm like, I'm everyone's like strong and fit and slim, and I didn't feel like I belonged. And I remembered that. I remember what that felt like, and that's why um, I say that every day. And I'm big on community. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like little. Clitches here and there, like I don't like that. I mean, obviously, clicks, there's yeah. people that 
yeah, obviously, um, obviously there's people that will relate with one another more than others, but you know, we all have to like, you know, at the end of the day, when you walk into, a, a, especially when you walked into an body class in person, everyone spoke to everybody, you know what I mean? Not, yeah. not certain people only spoke to certain people. Everyone said yes. hi, I made sure that happened and everyone felt welcome. So that was really important yes. too. It's so important, especially in these times mm -hmm. when everybody is so on edge with COVID and people are, you know, staying home. Community means more important now than it ever has. Yeah, for sure. In terms of mental health, in terms of the reality is if we keep ourselves healthy, which exercising is always a great way to do that, yeah. it boosts our immune system. It We're able to good. fight things better, mm -hmm. right? So having that community, having that keeping our fitness level is so, so important, especially during this COVID time. Yeah. And what people need to, to also know, and I'll point out is, is that I'm an average woman. <laughs> I don't have a six pack. I'm not a hundred pounds. Me I don't, either. Yeah, I don't, I am not the stereotypical um, um, fitness instructor. I'm a real woman um, that has excess skin that can, um, I'm proud of myself that I can work out and still sing a song. Um, I'm really, really healthy. I'm no longer diabetic. I might not look like the stereotypical fitness instructor out there, mm -hmm. but yeah. I'm, 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 my audience are people that are starting people that, um, you know, want to feel better about themselves. Yeah. I, and that's who, who, I, I want, and that's what I, I'm, I'm here to do. I'm trying, trying to help people to, it's like a transition. I mean, yeah. start with us and then, you know, like, of course, there's, a, there's many people that have been with me for three years that are, uh, that are like, I can do this now, so bye, you know what I mean? And so they transition yeah. to something harder or more challenging or whatever that might look like for them, or they're yeah. still, still hanging out with me. They were totally fine. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help people to get stronger and more believing themselves to do or more challenging things and i'm proud of that i'm proud of building a, a, a program where everyone feels welcomed and everyone feels that they can do an activity and that's it and they're not intimidated by me because you know i i'm <laughs> this is just me my body's not going to change unless i go under and 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 snip it off but you know, yes that's how it is so yes the thing about it is i find with social media especially is there are a ton of instructors out there that look like you and I, because yeah. you and I are not, as you say, not the typical fitness instructors. Yeah. And you see that. And then people are like, I've actually had somebody say to me, I don't know if you've ever, ever experienced this, but I actually had somebody say to me, I wouldn't go to you because you don't look like a typical fitness instructor. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, really? And then I challenged them. Come to my class. And let's see yeah. who's standing at the end. Yeah. Because healthy looks different yeah. on every single person. Every single person. It does not look the same. You and I don't look the same. I don't look the same as some of my other instructors. Yeah. But I think what happens is you go online and you see all these personal trainers and all these people. And like you say, they have the six pack and the this or that. We forget too that for them, that's what they want. Yeah, and great for That's them. Not, like, and great for them, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm a but big cheerleader for them too. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely. We need you in our lives. Yeah. We yeah. need them too, right? Yeah. But we all don't have to look like that. Right. To be healthy. Correct. So defining what is healthy for you as an individual, I think is most important because the only race you're running is the one against yourself. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Seriously, right? So yeah. I think, and I think sometimes that people get discouraged because they think that that's what they need to be. And it's not true. Yeah. Right? It's not true. So Marta says, you are incredible. Love you. Oh, Marta, you're so this, sweet. This is, this, this is the Abadi community. They oh God, come amazing. and show up. And then Suzette says, I want to do bounce with you, Tracy and Antonetta. Suzette, you're going to love it. It's like the girls best. night. Yeah. Girls night. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And she says, and all the body members. Oh my God. That'd be so great. <laughs> that would be fun. It, it would, would be, be fun. so much fun. You'll love it. Yeah. It's great. It's one of my favorites. 
Teresa oh, says, you. love you, always love hearing your story. Because you, your story. lovely, such a lovely lady. Oh my God, we used to walk together really early in the morning. <laughs> oh, the 5.30 group? Yeah. Yeah. I always thought, man, she's crazy getting up at yeah. 5.30 in the morning. We are. It is. Yes, I love I love seeing the posts with the snow on the face and the you know it looks like your eye, eyelashes. eyelashes are like icicles yeah. and love seeing all that stuff. <laughs> and Barbie says you're the funniest and most real fitness instructor. Oh, so kind. Thank you. And Tannis, oh, Tannis. Says you are an amazing woman. Tannis, she's in Arizona. She lives in Winnipeg. Look at that. Fantastic. I mean, so sweet. Tannis. Oh, Laurie Gunn from Georgetown. So yes, sweet. you have to love yourself and love the journey, the way. Yeah. So absolutely, uh, absolutely. And she also, and Tannis also says, it's not so intimidating when an instructor is average looking person. It's much easier to open up. Oh, I Tannis, agree. that means a lot to me. Thank you. And I agree with that because it's relatable, right? It is it is relatable. And like we said, each person that does a fitness class is you know, you go to who you resonate with. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And there's, and that's just it. That's it. You're a rock for everyone. Denise. Hi, says. Denise from Uggs Fringe. So sweet. Aww. Barbie's bounce would be a black. Yeah, there you go. Yes. You I was actually talking place. to Barbie this morning about your classes. Yeah. Oh, is that? <laughs> that's what I, was talking to. <laughs> I love it. Love y'all. That's Thank Lori. You. Thank you so much, everybody, for all these comments. It's nice to hear, isn't it, Antonetta? Yeah. All nice these people hear. and the impact that you have had on so many people. And we're talking worldwide. We're not talking in the GTA. We're talking yeah. worldwide. You have people from everywhere come yeah. to your classes. It's pretty cool. Across Canada and the U.S., Peru, mm -hmm. Australia joined in, Ireland, wow. yeah, the U.K., my my family in Italy. <laughs> so awesome. I know it's been That's pretty cool. cool. I mean, online just opened up a whole new thing, which was really nice. Yes. Yeah. So it's really nice. kind of a blessing of COVID, isn't it? Yeah. And it it was it is and it was for sure. But you know what makes a body what it is today are the people in it. It's yeah. incredible. The community is so infectious that it's just it's just so heartwarming and it's yeah. the community that is making a body what it is today. Like it wouldn't be what it is today without them. I mean, yeah. the friendships that get developed, um, people organizing their own walking program. Like it's just so great. And everyone's helping each other. And I just love that. The community is so wonderful. And mm -hmm. I want people to understand too, walking is has so many fantastic benefits mm -hmm. that it's a very, very underrated exercise. Very much so. And so you can get the benefits of doing a walking class the same way you could other class, other types of fitness classes. Yeah. Yeah. So I know if you're watching, you'll be like, really walking? Yes, really walking. Walking allowed me right? to lose over 140 pounds. Yeah. Let's just put that into perspective there. I mean, yeah. at one point, walking 20 minutes was challenging. Mm. Walking, um, that's why I am such a big promoter of low impact. Mm -hmm. I'm a big promoter about that. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I'm a big promoter because I remember myself. I put myself, I remember my journey and walking is a low impact and yeah. it allowed me to um, move up to more challenging things and it gave me more confidence. You know, I remember the first day when I completed a 5k walk, it was like the best day on the planet. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? Absolutely. Yeah. I could do this. Oh, yeah. Right? I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah, so, that's amazing. Mm. Amazing. So Lori also says real positive, non judgmental people who just want to have fun and get healthy along the way and smile every day. Yes. So, yeah. so important. Yeah. And Jan's here and she said, a body is our home, supportive, <laughs> caring family with an amazing, sincere leader. Oh, so sweet, Jan. I paid her lots of money to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Lynn. Terry, <laughs> Terry Lynn, she says, you were instrumental in helping me achieve my goal of being healthier and stronger. So sweet, Terry Lynn. So kind. Thank you so much. That's awesome. That's so so tell me, Antonetta, yeah. what is your why? Why do you do what you do? Why, like, currently right now? Because my yeah, what is your changed? motivation? Yes, it would have changed over the years. Yeah. So why, what is your why now? 
my my why right now is what I love the most is just exactly what Terry Lynn was saying. I love when I hear people say to me, and Tanetta, when I first started your class, I couldn't touch my toes. Now I can touch my toes. Um, you know, for I had a hard time going up and down the stairs. Now I can do it. Um, yeah. That's my why. When I hear those um, transitions and, you know, um, for in everyone's life, like that's, that's what inspires me to keep going. Um, you know, it's, I love that. Or, um, they'll come to me and say, I really didn't have a, a you know, a community. Now I have it. So thank you. And that's yeah. just so lovely. And that what motivates me to keep going. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, absolutely. Yeah. And man, it's just, I love seeing the community coming together. I love all that. I love when people like friends are being developed. Like I just love it. And they all just like get on screen and we all work out. You know what I mean? There's no, no one's allowed to be perfect. And that's the best part of it. And so yes. I love, I love it. I love that. That's, that's my biggest why right now. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what keeps me going. It's just great. And so you created, be, sorry. Yes. Go ahead. It would be a sin. It'd be a sin. It, there's a lot of people that are benefiting. I'm just a tool. I'm just a platform where um, we all get together and have a good time. Um, and so I'm just like the DJ. I got control of the music. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're just doing okay. it. But I love it because a community gets developed. And I love it that, you know, people are doing things outside of the classes um, you know, keeping themselves accountable and I, uh, you know, with their health journey. And I love that. And like, that's my number one thing. And it would be a sin. It would be a sin if I allowed negative forces to overtake that, um, mm, and it'd be a yes. sin to, to allow them to come in and disrupt the goodness that we all do. It's not yes. me. You know what I mean? Like we all do it. Like the community does it. And it'd be a sin if I allowed you know, those few negative things that, um, that would cause my mind to be like, it's over. <laughs> Do you yes. know what I mean? And, it and there, me. absolutely. Yeah. And there are people out there, I'm sure mm -hmm. that have come at you. Oh, absolutely. Every day. Yeah. Every day. And it's, it's not living there. It's, it's, yeah saying that's on you that is nothing yeah. to do with me yeah and i'm gonna protect my island and you're not allowed on it so yeah. to speak my yeah. body island yeah right yeah. exactly yeah yeah i think well it, that's that, hard that that wears on you after a while i imagine it's hard it's challenging absolutely yeah I mean, yeah it, it plays with your mind but you know i get stronger every day and they actually motivate me to keep going <laughs> because you know just like my little note in the back says work hard in silence and let your success be the noise and the other thing that i always think about is when people are coming at you like that they're watching you mm -hmm. right yeah because you're do what you're doing yeah is good yeah so yeah. never stop doing what you're doing. Yeah. So you have created, oh, actually, Denise says it's not a workout class. It's a big party, laughter all the way while we work out. Thank you. It's Absolutely. Awesome. And I've done Antonetta's classes and they're so much fun. So Thank much fun. You. And Jerry's um, here and she says, you were the reason I made it through the last two years. The support from you and the community helps me to continue on my health journey. Sweet, sweet, Jerry. That's Jerry is Arizona beautiful. and Winnipeg. So sweet. Love you, Jerry. Thank you. Oh, awesome. So you have now teamed up with uh, the wellness warriors, Jean mm -hmm. and Nick, mm -hmm. and you guys have a retreat that you put on. How many times a year do you put that on? So January was actually our last retreat. Um, we are working on something uh, that is going to be uh, launched in the summertime. Um, so we, yeah, so we're excited about that. Um, we do have a, a, a fun, great thing that I'm excited about. Um, that yeah, so my Myself, John, Luke, and Nick, and Kieran, um, we're we're working together to offer uh, something new and exciting, which will be launched uh, very soon. So um, yeah, Ooh. so our January retreat was the last one we're doing. Oh, it was the last one. Yeah, it was okay. the last one we decided to do uh, because we're um, evolving into something else. So I'm excited to Ooh. to announce it to the world. So. Ooh, I can't wait because mm -hmm. it'll be fun. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it'll be amazing. Of course. I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait to hear all about it. Thank you. Oh, and Carol says, so true, my fellow pegger. <laughs> <laughs> They're bonding. They're bonding here, even on I love it. <laughs> so what's next for you? 
What is the next thing you want to do? Oh, yeah. So there's a lot of things that I'm currently working on right now. Uh, P3 is one of them. Uh, but I do have a couple of things up my sleeve um, that I really I can't wait to launch. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm just uh, just doing what I'm doing every day <laughs> and uh, continue it and um, uh, trying to share the love of our community with everyone else in the world um, because it'd be a shame if they've never um, experienced the community that we have. Um, it's so great. Um, and so, yeah, I, there's a lot of things, my God, Tracy, which yeah. I can't reveal right now, but yeah. <laughs> I, See, I was I was trying everybody. Trying, okay, yeah. it's I like when trying. you're interviewing like somebody at a movie. They're like, "What? What is it?" Or like, someone is a soap opera. Like, are they gonna yeah. die? And they're like, "We're not telling you." <laughs> then yeah. you're like, "Do it." Yeah. See, yeah. I tried. I tried to get. Yeah. I tried to get something out yeah. of you. But... <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what would you tell somebody who was you all those years ago? Yeah, I think what I would tell them just for what I needed to hear is mm -hmm. just come. Yeah. Don't worry about it. If I go right and you go left, it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. If you don't like lifting, if you don't like doing knee lifts, it's no big deal. You don't have to do that. You can just walk in place. Mm -hmm. And um, just so you know, it took me a long time to touch my toes. So if it takes a long time for you too, that's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. And just reassure them that you don't have to be perfect. Um, just yep. come as who you are. And just because you can't do something that I do, it doesn't mean that you're less, um, you're not as important or as fit as I am. You know what I mean? It's not that. Please do not judge yourself. Do not compare yourself with anybody else. And just one day you'll get there. And you do you. You do you. Exactly. You do you. Just awesome. You do you. Yeah. Sue is here and she says, missing a body, best group ever. Know, sweet Sue from Calgary. Love her. So if somebody wants to join your Abadia community, how do they do it? So they can go to my website, which is abadia.ca. And Abadia is A-B-O-T-T-I. So if you look at my name, <laughs> it's the first letter of my name and the first four letters of my last name. Um, and so, yeah, if you go on there, everything you need to know is there. Um, exactly. And um, you can always reach out to me on Facebook or send me an email. No problem. Yeah. Awesome. And I mean, there's always free trial classes. Sometimes I give more than one away. So don't worry about it. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Well, Antonetta, this has been an absolute pleasure chatting with you today. Thank you, everybody, for watching. You are such an inspiration, Antonetta, to so many people. So My little fireball Italian. I love her you so know much. Thank you so much, but you were fantastic too. And I just want to take this moment and say, thank you so much for all that you do to make the world a safer and healthier place. So thank you so much. Um, you are fantastic. You know, Aww. you're in the health industry, you're a healthcare worker. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for putting a fantastic program, the Kangoo Jumps. And I loved it. So once we're able to do it, like I'm going to get a whole basket. We're going to do it. We're going to yeah. do it. Yeah. Absolutely. We need like a stadium. So <laughs> it's so much fun. It's fantastic. So thank you for being always so kind to me. And I'm just so blessed to call you my friend. So thank you. Aww. And I am, I am the same right back at you, sister. Big hugs. <laughs> we got virtual hugs. Yeah. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of what has changed your life. If you think that somebody could benefit from this program, like and share as many times as you want and have a great day. Be kind, stay safe, choose joy. See you next time on what has changed your life.